was a little bit of Les Brown to kick off the show. I hope you enjoyed that one. And if you've ever listened to this show before, you'll know that I quite often play Les Brown or Arnold Schwarzenegger or various people who I feel make me motivated and inspired. And one of those people was also Tony Robbins. And um, my special guest, Des Hapeshi, the uh, Zumba teacher who also does Pound Fit and Pound Stretch. Is it Pound Stretch? Pure Stretch. Pure stretch. She'll be talking to us about those in a moment. But she also has um, an experience with meeting Tony Robbins. She's been to one of his seminars. So tell me about that. Well, I've been to a few of the seminars. I mean, he has a lot of a lot of programs um, going on all around the world. He's a, he's a brilliant, um, you know, life coach, entrepreneur, author. Um, he's absolutely amazing, and you can definitely learn a lot from him. He knows psychology so well um, and uses amazing practical tools to get you to be the best of yourself you can be basically and that's what I love and I'm actually crewing Unleash the Power Within UPW at the Excel London he starts on Thursday and runs till um, Sunday and him and his uh, team lead that and it's absolutely incredible five to eight thousand people from I don't know how many different countries it's an incredible Wow, so with your ticket, do you get to go for all of the days, or is it just... Oh, absolutely. Yeah? So if anyone wanted to get a ticket, they'll go from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll get to experience a firewalk as well, which is part of sort of, you know, breaking boundaries, getting over fear, just understanding that fear is in the brain, you know, and you can overcome it. It's not about being silly or, you know, doing crazy things, but it's about understanding that... You know, you can overcome fears um, and people just need that physical challenge to overcome the mental challenges they have. Yeah, so it must take a long time to get everybody to walk over oh, the fire. <laughs> definitely. It takes ages. I mean, we are probably on the firewalk night or there until one in the morning, something crazy wow. like that. It's amazing. And everybody's scared before they go into it, are they? But they, they prime us, they prepare us, you know, yeah, of course, you're quite nervous if you haven't done it before. Uh, but I Does did it actually last hurt? Year. No, not at all. I mean, because that's, that's the point is that you prime and prepare your brain so that by the time you get, it, it, it finishes in like what feels like a split second to me, you know? Um, it was incredible that it's just overcoming that, that boundary. So we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about overcoming boundaries and um, hopefully try and inspire some of you guys at home. So we're just going to take a quick break and we'll be back to speak to Des in a moment. And remember, tweet us your questions at HazeFM Official. Welcome back to Hayes FM. So this is the Fustal Fit Health and Fitness Show. If you've only just tuned in, we're here every Tuesday between the hours of one and three. And mostly I have a special guest with me as well. And today my guest is Des. So welcome, Des. Thanks for having me. I had to just jump right in there and ask her about Tony Robbins because it was really appropriate with the Les Brown motivational speech we just had. Um, but tell us about yourself, Des. Who are you? What's your background in fitness? Ah, where do I start? Well, I've always been um, an athlete uh, and a team sports player since a very young age, uh, back in Cyprus, because that's where I was born. I um, have several medals in that and, uh, and so on. And I always loved exercise, always loved fitness. Actually, I loved dance less. I must say, in fact, my mum used to really beg me to dance and I would never go there. Um, but funnily enough, my coach used to say, I'm going to make you a, a, a coach and a top athlete. And I used to say, no, no, I want to be a doctor. So all my life, I wanted to be a doctor, really. And that's what I wanted to study. Uh, but in the meantime, somewhere around A-levels, I discovered salsa dancing and that blew me away. So um, I did move to this country around GCSE time. So, you know, by A-levels, I was introduced to dance and I really fell for it. So um, after I finished my first degree, I did my graduate entry program medical course and I finished medicine. Um, but it was during the first degree that, or the second one, somewhere in between, I can't remember exactly, um, that I discovered Zumba and I absolutely loved it because, you know, I love fitness and I love dance and especially Latin inspired Caribbean rhythms, all, all those uh, rhythms and absolutely fell in love with it. 
Um, and then when I was actually, when I finished my medical degree, I decided to qualify as a Zumba instructor to teach that on the side because I just absolutely loved the vibe. You know, I, I'm a firm believer that if you do what you love and if you do what you enjoy, you're more likely to keep it to the long term, you know, and uh, it'll certainly have a bigger impact in your life and other people's lives as well. So um, I did it um, and it, the plan was to do it on the, the side of being a doctor. I was a doctor at the Royal Derbyshire uh, and in my first year as a junior doctor, but it turned out that it wasn't right for me. Um, and I decided to to leave medicine, basically, which was a really tough decision, as you can imagine. And then after a couple of months of being quite, you know, low in, low, <laughs> uh, to put it lightly, because I don't like to dwell on it too much, I've had to make the decision to move on. And I did, you know, I decided to move to um, Reading because that's where my husband's family were. and. I could see that he could use with some more Zumba sessions and I just went crazy. I went, where is there no Zumba session? There you are, there you are, there you are. And I just found the holes and just set up. So literally moved, set up my sessions and it was a boom. Five years ago, it was, Zumba was at its high. So that's when you started, is it? That's when I started actually being a self-employed fitness instructor in the community. So there you go. <laughs> So you teach those in Reading? Yes, uh, teach those in Reading. I mean, I always do, I'm always there for anyone that wants me for master classes and, you know, um, charitable events and so on. And I'm happy to help people out or love it really. So um, what's your week like now? Because obviously you were a doctor then, you were planning to do the classes on the side. Mm -hmm. And then having left, did you fill up your week with classes? Are you full time? <laughs> I actually went mad because I was like, oh my goodness, what do I do? I used to work like, you know, eight to eight sometimes, you know, and weekends and night shifts and early shifts and late shifts. And I, I couldn't think of a life where I just did you know, a couple of sessions a week, you know, I didn't know what to do. So I went crazy and set myself up two Zumba sessions a night from Monday to Friday, Saturday morning and Tuesday morning when I first started. Um, and of course, lo and behold, it was incredible. But about nine months later, I was hit really badly with a virus. Um, and that sort of, um, you know, switched on the thinking of, uh oh, I need some help here, you know, and because I had a lot of amazing helpers around me, my, my own clients, you know, who were, you know, really passionate about it, really. Um, I decided to get some help from them and slowly so they build became a team. teachers, did they? Yeah, and they became teachers under my guidance, obviously so properly qualified. Them. Absolutely. They, it, it's been incredible, you know, how many people have been inspired, how many people have transcended boundaries you you know you think you come in for just the dance fitness class but it's not just that it gives you so much more um you overcome so many boundaries you you probably never even thought about you know fears that you had even the simple thing of traveling from va one venue to another which is like 10 minutes down the road some people never went from sort of let's say talhurst to lower early you know what i mean but then just to go to a class, they've done that, and they said, oh my goodness, I was so scared going, and now I've gone over that. Because they get in the comfort zone, don't they? Yes. That used to the location, the teacher as well. Exactly. How did they feel about doing classes with your helpers, other than you? And you know what, because we were, I was so close to all of them, uh, because that's the one thing about me and my team, we are personal, we are personal, you know, we, I love my clients beyond belief. I care for them in a in a really deep way that I can't even explain. Um, I just I guess I always do. That's what I'm here for in life. My purpose is to to help people be healthier and happier. And obviously that, that was my calling in life because I went into medicine. Yeah. But then medi medicine wasn't the tool by which to achieve my calling if that makes sense. It wasn't the best tool. I love medicine, but being a doctor wasn't for me after all. Uh, of course, respect to all my colleagues and, you know, I absolutely loved medicine. I always do and I'm so happy I went through it because it's made me who I am today, you know.
Yeah. Um, and a very knowledgeable fitness instructor. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you must get lots of medical questions from your clients as well. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we do. And, uh, you know, people come in with all sorts. And, of course, I'm much more confident in dealing with it. Of course, you know, I don't practice as a doctor anymore. So that's not in my remit. But I'm always there to give advice or to refer them on or, you know, to, to get some help from colleagues and... Ex, you know my my old colleagues that are still practicing doctors or to refer them on and to be much more confident or you know if they ask me something what does this mean I'm obviously more confident in in um, answering that and of course my team is trained with me and they have all their qualifications and you know their licenses and their insurances and all that you know that's really important for us um, yeah and uh, we're all a team and we learn from each other you'd be surprised how many things I learn every day how many instructors do you have? So we have three three girls, Big Up Faye, <laughs> Emma and Sarita right there. They, I love them, absolutely love them. Janet is one of our backup instructors and one of our main helpers. And Sarah, Chloe and Michelle are our main helpers, So, um, along with Janet. So I, I love these girls to bits and so do our clients because they've known them, you know, they've known them, they bond with them. We're all an amazing team and we transcend boundaries every single day. Fitness goals, mental goals, you know, whatever, whatever people want, we're there for them and we okay. achieve it. Brilliant. And on that note, if there is any fitness goals or advice that you need, if you're listening, please get in contact with us. Tweet us at Hayes FM Official. We'll be right back after the local news. 91.8 Hayes FM. Local. Back. So we're still with Des and she's going to talk to us a little bit about her fitness business. Tell us about your Zumba classes. So we did start originally with Zumba. I think most people, most listeners probably have either heard of Zumba or experienced it. Um, of course, it does vary depending on your instructor and the team that you, um, you know, you, you go to. Uh, we like to keep to the absolute ideology to Zumba. Um, you know, ideally your instructors should be facing you um, instead of away from you. Oh, yes, okay, if they and also, I was going to say, yeah, actually, do you are you allowed to talk during the class? Because I've heard that <laughs> Zumba teachers are not allowed to speak, so they just use their hands to direct you from left to right. <laughs> it's a very good question. Of course, you're allowed to speak, but the ideology of, of Zumba is to, mm, to, to, for it to feel more like a party atmosphere as opposed to a fitness session where the instructor doesn't stop talking non-stop. Now... It doesn't necessarily mean not being safe or effective, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, um, you know, they encourage us to use what they call nonverbal cueing just to make it that more fun, you know. But personally, um, you know, I do like to remind people from time to time, tight tummies, you know, and if we put a couple of toning tracks in there because some people do want a bit of toning as well in with their cardio um, to, to remind or if we're doing more fitness variations to remind people you know knees in line with the feet but again it's just small sentences instead of going one two three five six seven eight two to the left two to the right jump twice you know because that's just too crazy people are very visual and they can follow but then they need the little teaching points like tight tummies make it bigger you know keep it strong, knees yeah. behind the tip of the toes, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, lift the hip. But again, it's very rare that um, we give lengthy verbal instructions in Zumba, yeah. And it's fa fantastic. What type of people go to your classes? In the community, we have, to be honest with you, we have such a variety, you know, we see 18-year-olds to, in my Zumba sessions, there's 18-year-olds to 68, I'd say. Um, uh, uh, we obviously teach Zumba Gold as well. Zumba Gold is the, the slightly slower pace, modified, low-impact version of Zumba. And I do have those as separate sessions as well. However, if people, those are mostly popular with the over 50s, but... In all honesty, mostly we have 60s and 70s and 80s oh, wow. in those. Wow, oh, yeah. 80s as well. Incredible. I, I keep saying some of my clients, I, say, I, I just keep, um, you know, joking with them and going, goodness me, you've got better balance than me or goodness me, you know, you're going to leave us all. And it's incredible. When I, when I see those guys, I say there's no excuse. 
get to a session because you've got to do what you love you've got to enjoy your fitness sessions otherwise you will not keep to them yeah, and you have to true. find the team that inspires you or the instructor that talks to you with it in your heart and that you you know in your heart and you feel right with them and i promise you that if you find the right person that cares for you you will be there for a long time we've had clients now for five years we're going to be celebrating in fact we have celebrated, but we, we're doing an official um, get together on the 17th of April for our five year anniversary as a group. Um, and I've had people that have come to me three, four times a week, up to three, four times a week um, since five years ago. And you know, I, I, it's incredible. What an achievement. And I'm proud of that. Mm, and yes, we have really clients well. that come and go because life, life changes. And you know, some people fall pregnant and have kids and they, they just can't carry on the classes, things like that. And uh, you know, saying that I did Zumba when I was pregnant. <laughs> exactly, and we do have some. I some think she clients. enjoyed the music. <laughs> yeah, of they course. They can hear the music, can't they? You know, those clients that have been with us for a while and we know are fit enough to do so, and who get the clearance from the midwives to stay. But you know, I'd say if you if you haven't been exercising and you're pregnant, do not go there. You know, but if you're quite fit and you you know you've been going for a while and you're pregnant, it's fine. You can do it, and then you modify it during the third um, trimester and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, that's Zumba, but we obviously do Pound Feet and Pure Stretch as well. I can talk about everything forever because I absolutely love these programs. I never started we'll anything that I don't love. We'll come back to the Pound Feet and uh, yes. Pure oh, Stretch after the next ad. Definitely. Um, but just quickly then, so how, how long does it take to set up your fitness business? So you started from nothing. How long does started it take to nothing. get your classes booming? Uh, to be honest with you, with Zumba it was pretty much instant. I just guess, you know, a bit of luck in there, you know, um, it was in its high days. So I must say I was very blessed in that. Um, I think Zumba is still very popular now. It just depends, as you said, it's very dependent on the instructor. Very popular and, and it's a good note, actually. I want to say to the instructors that are out there, Zumba is not dying out. People are asking about Zumba more than ever. So do not lose your strength and, carry, and, and your courage just because you, you see all these other programs and you think, oh my goodness, or you've overexhausted yourselves because you're, you're doing a million Zumba sessions. You know, if you're exhausted, drop down to fewer Zumba sessions, but do not stop Zumba because it's an incredible program and it's very popular. You know, I know instructors that are quitting Zumba and we are getting more Zumba requests than anything else because Brilliant. people know about Zumba. And they okay. love it. And we'll be right back after this. Hello and welcome back to the Fuse or Fit Health and Fitness Show. So I'm here with Dare. She's Zumba, Pound, uh, Fit and Pure Stretch teacher. And she's going to talk to us a little bit about her fitness business. She's got some tips, actually, that we were discussing just now off air. So do you want to run us through those? Yeah, for any instructors out there, I'd say, who are running their own businesses in the community, um... One big thing is to find like-minded people, not necessarily within your district because you might always have the pressure that they're competitors. Um, even though I never see it like that, it's good to have competition because it just keeps us all going. And there's plenty of space for all of us, let's be honest here. Um, I'd say, say definitely always have backup instructors there that you trust and your clients know and feel comfortable with so, so that you, you never cancel. have to exactly yeah. so that you never have to cancel a class i think um you know nicola was asking me how did you become so successful i said well you know what even when i was s s severely struck with the virus and couldn't actually stand when i first started i i wouldn't cancel a class i had to go to class one time for two weeks and sit in a chair for the, the first three, four days because I didn't have the strength, sit in a chair and get my helpers that knew my routines to come up the front and I would initiate the movements and they would continue them. Those are the lengths I went through. I'm not saying you, you should do it or you have to do it, but those are the lengths I went through to make sure that my clients would never do without because consistency is absolutely key. Think about it. So actually being unsure about the classes you set up and cancelling every other day and you know keeping it for two months and if it's not working giving up you know i'd give everything at least six months and in fact i've given a lot all of my classes a lot more than that how you know, long did it take to get them set up and successful to be honest with you when i made the decision it just took um 
I think it took about a month uh, from the moment I had to find, you know, I started searching for the holes to the moment I actually launched my, my first session. Uh, no, uh, yeah, maybe I'm lying there. I can't remember exactly, but it, it, once you make the decision, all you need to do is search your holes, find the, the, the right size holes, um, book them, and initially I started with leaflet drops. So I dropped, uh, I leaflet dropped 5,000 people, uh, 5,000 leaflets by hand around the venues, obviously. Um, and I got the interest from there, and then it was word of mouth um, and all the rest. Currently, Facebook is a big thing for that. So I do get a lot of my clients from Facebook and still word of mouth as well. But we do a lot of local events. Um, we're really hot on that. We just love being around people. So why wouldn't we do that? You know what I mean? Um, and that brings us in a lot of, of people because that's where we get to inspire them and we love doing that, you know? So talking of events, do you en do any outdoor events? Yes, we do. We do outdoor events uh, mainly if there's big events, like for example, in Reading, we have a couple of uh, big festivals coming up, and not the re not the Reading festival, not that one, but smaller scale ones, uh, and we go and demonstrate in between the bands, for example, or um, you know, we we have uh, stalls there and we we advertise what we do and we give demos because people can see and it's a lot of fun. We get people to move and they like that, and the children enjoy that as well. You know, it just makes a, a, a gathering so much more fun. And interactive. Well, I think definitely if we set up something for Hayes FM, you'll be our first Zumba instructor. Definitely. <laughs> Zumba, Pound Feet, Pure Stretch, we're there. So tell us about Pound Feet and Pure Stretch. Pound Feet and Pure Stretch are absolutely incredible. I did actually see Pound Feet advertised about four years ago, but I didn't have the chance to pick it up as an instructor. But um, it's been in the UK probably a year now um, and we qualified uh, a few months ago in it um, I absolutely love it pound fit what is it is a cardio tone full body workout using what we call the rip sticks which are sort of large plastic versions of drumsticks because that's where we got inspired and um, that's where we got inspired by the creators uh, Kirsten and Christina from America uh, they are um, they were drummers they are drummers and that's their big passion I mean they do other things as well they're amazing and talk about them forever but what brought it on was the fact that they did Pilates they loved Pilates but they found it a little bit boring they're drummers and they like that the energy the beating to the vi to the uh, drumming to the rhythm i mean to the beat it's very powerful isn't it we all know about the power of rhythms and the beat um and so I think one time one of theirs, their stool broke at practice and, the, and so they had to sort of squat and drum and the next day they were like, oh my goodness, we're really hurting, what just happened? <laughs> so that inspired the whole, oh wow. my goodness, this could be a fitness program. So they amalgamated the principles of Pilates and so on and so forth and fitness in general and strength and cardio and toning into, oh my goodness, let's have fun and drum away. And trust me, it is so powerful. Is it quite dancey then? Is it choreographed? It's not dancey. So this is why for us, it's a perfect complement to Zumba. So a lot of our clients do both. Um, or some people that are not dancey at all and would never try Zumba, they come into Pound Feet because Pound Feet is more fitnessy. So obviously we have, um, you know fitness moves so you'll get anything from your from your squat to your lunge to your to your um you know sitting on the floor and being in your c spine c position to really target the abs uh, pilates bridges of the sword and so on and so forth and you use the the drumsticks and because you're drumming continuously that challenges your body challenges your balance i must have great music as well oh the music is so powerful it's a mixture of pop music, um, uh, rock music. It's music with a strong beat that you can drum to. Uh, so as an instructor, do you get your music with? It so it's don't. You have to buy it from iTunes and so on. Uh, but the, so they, anyone can use any music in those classes? They, they prefer you to use their choreography. In fact, I think it's a standard that you must use their, um, their choreographies. So they'll choreograph to a song and then you copy the choreography but you have to purchase the um, song okay, yourself yeah. if that makes sense yeah
but that's a if you're looking to tone for summertime my goodness find a pound feet session near you it's incredible. I don't think we have any in Hillingdon, actually. I know, we're the first Maybe ones I'll to have to stop. <laughs> the first, yes, definitely. Oh, Nicole, you'll love it. Oh, my goodness. Because I, I thought it now. was quite dancey. That's why I was asking no, you. No, 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 no. You will love it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's your new program. It's I have to incredible. come to one of your classes. Absolutely. Come to the bank holiday once if you're free. Pound feed is powerful, guys. You are working your... Oh, my goodness. Tell your, us about your bank holiday class. Yes, the, well, it's in Reading... Um, we have uh, limited if people spaces, are off work, yes. can come along. but you can inquire www.shakerzumba.co.uk. We are in the process of switching our names at the moment and rebranding ourselves, which is so exciting as well. But you can come to the bank holiday once, 7.30 to 9.30. We're doing a, a combination of Zumba, Pound Feet and Pure Stretch, so it's going to be really amazing. Uh, but we need to know in advance because li uh, the spaces are limited and we will we obviously we our existing clients are going to want to come so if you're a newbie and you want to experience it you have to book in advance to make sure you can get in uh, and for anyone that's joining us outside our clients is 10 pounds for the for the duration we're keeping it low just to give people the experience but to help us cover our costs a little bit and mm -hmm. so on well it's a good price if you're getting a good few hours of oh, um, exercise absolutely it's amazing what's the pure stretch like Pure Stretch has saved me. Well, they all have really, but um, Pure Stretch was recommended by another friend of mine who is a, an amazing fitness professional in and around Reading. She teaches Pure Stretch, I believe, e even at the Pure Stretch studio in Henley. So the creator of Pure Stretch is Kieran. She's amazing. And she resides at Henley where she has her Pure Stretch studio as well. So I was very, very lucky because Henley is just down the road. Um, and I started going there because I had a lot of back trouble. So before we launched Pound Feed and Pure Stretch, I only used to do Zumba and I did a lot of it. Uh, but I was diagnosed with a severely degenerated lower lower um, disc in my spine. Um, and that was causing me a few troubles, um, lower back pain. And, and I was going through that. I had, uh, basically, I couldn't sit lie down or stand for too long and I had really bad pain and my back would freeze up and so on and so forth so I needed to do something else to help me so I looked up and I found the pure stretch and I must say that between Pilates yoga and pure stretch pure stretch is the one that helped me the most I I found that Pilates and yoga are, are amazing I love them I would recommend it to everyone of course and to be honest with you even as in my team we're working towards those qualifications but um, because every program has its uniqueness and what it offers and everyone needs a bit of everything or one program might suit someone more than anyone else but pure stretch is to have balance stretch and core conditioning core strengthening it's incredible it, it made a huge difference to me and it helped me eliminate my pain that with intense mindset work uh, because you're all about mindset here as well. Mindset is a huge thing when it comes to pain. The moment you focus on your pain, you'll feel it more. So it's it's hugely important to lead, to live a more positive life. And I don't mean, you know, happy doo -doo -doo, and being crazy. I mean, you know, preparing your mind on a daily basis to have a better day. And obviously being positive and using positive words and language and quotes and all that and stuff. That's exactly what we try to do here. Absolutely, and I know, and that's why I'm so honored to be here and thank you for having me. But yeah, Pure Stretch, if, you're, if you suffer from muscular stiffness, pain, um, if you could use with being more flexible, if you could use with more core strength, definitely go to it it's not a cardio tone program it's much more relaxed but it you know we do challenge the core uh, but it's amazing and obviously there's standing and floor based segments as well so look up pure stretch and um, search it around your area for sure <laughs> Welcome back. So that was Jennifer Lopez and On The Floor. I'm still with Dez, the Zumba Pound Fit Pure Stretch teacher. She's going to tell us how we can get in contact with her. Oh, thank you, Nicola. Obviously, you know, we, we do teach um, in Reading and Wokingham. So if you're local to that, please um, get in contact. Website is www.shakeyourzumba.co.uk and email des des for sugar at shakeyourzumba.co.uk you can ask me anything and we do have a the maybank holidays on both of them we're doing a two-hour special where we're doing 
um, Zumba, Pound Feet and Pure Stretch one after the other. So that's going to be a nice one. And of course, this has inspired us putting together an event. All right, welcome back. We're just talking off air there a little bit about mindset and Des was telling me about her business and how she's gone through her ups and downs and everything and, and also with herself personally and how much mindset and having a coach has really helped her. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about that as well. And if anybody has any questions, don't forget, tweet us at Hayes FM Official. We've also put in there the website for shakeyourzumba.co.uk. So if you want to have a click onto that, you can check out Des and all of the classes that she's offering. Oh, so Des, tell can. us about the mindset. Mindset, my goodness. I mean, how has it changed your life and shaped your business? I can talk about this forever. Are you ready? Um, yes. <laughs> how long do I have? How long do I have? My goodness. Till the end. Oh, we need a week. Okay, we need a week. Um, mindset is key. Uh, I think back in the days we thought that it was only legend that, you know, the power of the mind, the power of the mind. Um, and if we stress, it can lead to illness and this and that and the other. But actually, um, you know, in the, in the 80s, it might have been a, oh, whatever, the scientists are talking, you know. Um, but actually... So many studies are now proving the power of the mind. Um, and it's something that has absolutely turned my, my, my life around. And I understood about the power of the mind. Well, actually, my, my first exposure was my hobby, I must say. And I want to thank him for that. Because he always spoke about the power of that, and actually he's a Christian, so you know I don't want to diverge too much. But he, you know, there's a lot of those principles in the Bible, and it's amazing. And actually, all our coaches, whereas they're fitness coaches or life coaches, you know, they do use quotes from different sources, don't they? So some quote the universe, and on top they say, but this is also in the Bible, or they might say it's here or it's there, or and so it's nice to actually draw from different religions, different beliefs, different, um, uh, you know, uh, schools of thought out there and put them all together and give them to people so that they can make their choice as to what they want to follow and believe, right? But definitely the power of the mind is huge. It's something I'm really hot on. Having coaches has been the life changer for me. When I left medicine, you can imagine, I, I you know, I, again, I don't want to dwell too much on it, but it was a, the toughest decision I ever made in my life. It was a really, really hard time, both with my family because of personal reasons and my career change. And I was rock bottom. I was, you know, as depressed as it got. Um, and, you know, launching my Zumba How did you business, pull yourself out again, of that then from being so low? It was incredible. So after leaving medicine, I was extremely low, but the prospect of helping people giving to people what dance and fitness and Zumba and salsa gave to me, that was my first empowerment. So I had to get out of my rut and I, I was very fortunate. I had my husband who was at the time my boyfriend and he was my biggest supporter and he said, you have to be happy. You have to do what's right for you. You can imagine my parents didn't like it at all my mm -hmm. my dog my registrar my 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 consultants i mean they were shocked my friends everyone was like are you mad you you started all these years to be a doctor and you're going to leave it the bottom line is in life you've got to do what makes you happy and i'm not saying that medicine and being a doctor didn't make me happy but it just wasn't for me and it just took me down and down and down so i had to find a solution and that's the other thing you know you can sit there forever but i wanted to be better i didn't want to sit there being depressed and wishing I was dead. I, I didn't want that because I had people around me that I loved and I wanted to be the best I could be for them, you understand? So um, definitely opening up to the people that you love the most um, and those that understand you and actually finding others who have gone through the same thing, finding coaches, a life coach that can take you when through things. When did you know that you needed a coach? I, I, I knew I needed a coach after the initial, I had launched my business, it was doing brilliantly well, but then I exhausted myself. So then I was, personally, um, I did go through my personal hurdle by myself and with my husband. But then a couple of years later, I hadn't dealt with the baggage, let me put it that way. And so it slowly creeped in, didn't it? The Zumba kept me going and kept me, when I was in class, I 
luckily got the strength and the renewal of my mind but the truth is that I wasn't looking deeper and because I wasn't looking deeper at some point he caught up with me and shot me down again that coupled with physical exhaustion from teaching too much Zumba mm -hmm. and not having time out I think a lot of teachers yes. out there if anybody's listening will um agree with that definitely to, uh, you know and I, I reached rock bottom again and I couldn't understand it Nicole I was like but I love what I do why am I crying why am I down I, I love it and I love helping people and I love my business so why do I just want to give up everything and move country and it was mir miraculous I was rock bottom I had just come back from Brazil and I couldn't understand why I was feeling so low ha having been to a country that I wanted to visit all my life I should have been happy I should have been happy to come back to my clients um, but I was exhausted mentally and physically and so one of our friends who um, you know Keris um, she dropped into the instructor network this thing about fully booked formula who are coaches and um, on uh, for fitness and wellness professionals and I thought oh my word this is exactly what I need and they were doing a workshop a free workshop that you could go and you know uh, see what they're about and I did and that was the first step towards something that changed my life and I always comment, you know, I always talk about Fully Booked Formula because they changed my life. They were my first coaches. There's many coaches out there and I would recommend just look it up and find who's right for you. Um, you know, but I, I also obviously highly recommend Fully Booked because I had the experience with them. And Tony Robbins, of course, I had the experience with them. Um, and I started and I went from a workshop to a three-day seminar and it was incredible. You know it yourself because you have experienced it. And we overcame boundaries, belief systems. We cried and cried and <laughs> cried and cried. How long did we cry on that, that first seminar? I cried so much. And I found all these lovely people that were there and helped in any way. Where he has to give me a tissue to dry my tears to actually going, okay, come on. You can pick yourself up. You're an amazing person. This is how you find your strength. And I signed up to further coaching and it started. But the one, the first thing our coaches said is that how can you have a successful business if your mind isn't right? And they introduced us to different mindset principles, practical tools that we could use. Like for example, our morning routine, waking up in the morning and before you do anything else, you prime yourself to having a better golden day. hour. Exactly, the golden hour, but it can be, it doesn't have to be an hour, it can be five minutes. And to be honest with you, um, I started with two hours in fact, and now it can be as short as nine minutes. So for those people who are listening and don't understand what is this hour, what would you do? This hour, five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, 20, what, however long you have in the morning, is something or that it could be at you. night as well, it couldn't could, it? Yes, in, and at night, or you any know, time of the day, and, or any time of the day in the morning is brilliant because in the first thing in the Sets morning and up. last thing at night, you set yourself up in the morning and end on a high, or not necessarily jumping up and down, but as in you end on a good note before you go to bed, and that works on your subconscious. And you know, our subconscious is uh, what is it, 90 something percent of our, of our brain, you know. And what goes on in the subconscious can affect us in our conscious and everyday mm. life. And we don't even know things that our parents said when we were seven or something and they're still there and affecting us today and we didn't even know. Um, so there's so much more to yes, talk about we'll on mindset. Bit, Let's oh continue that after this break. So if you have just joined us, this show is all about health and fitness. And so that doesn't always mean your body. Sometimes you need to train your mind. And just like your muscles, they need daily training. And we were talking just before the break there. Training your mind first thing in the morning or before you go to bed, it just sets you up for the day or makes you sleep well, having reflected back on everything that's happened in the day. And one thing that I actually do is a, a jar. And I've had this empty jar and then I fill it up with all these nice things that happen throughout the day. Um, and it just makes sure that you're at the end of the year, you open it and you have a look at all the nice things that happened, whether it was a compliment, whether you, yes. it, you know, achieved a goal, you got a medal for something, you know, just the tiniest things, a laugh out loud moments. And it really does help you look back and see a positive year as opposed to focusing all the negative things. That's a brilliant, brilliant tip. I love it. So what do you do for mindset, Des? 
I do a combination of things. I've, as I said, because I've had a lot of exposure to different coaches, and they've all recommended about the one million things each. Uh, I've tried to, you know. Um, try a little bit of everything um, to be honest with you I'm a very spontaneous person so I kind of wake up and have to th see how I feel in the morning um, so it could be basically when you wake up in the morning you do something that relaxes you and sets you up to a good day so it could be anything guys if you for example like exercising first thing beca before you go to work then that's what you've got to do if it's that you like to do some meditation or prayer then that's what you do um, if it's writing down you know three things you're grateful for and how you can make the day better you write them down and you know you speak them out incantations incantations are very powerful they're not just affirmations where you go i am whatever you want to be because you you command your brain your brain doesn't understand what's real and what's not you understand what i mean so you have to to trick it almost to believe that this is happening right now so you're saying i am powerful i am whatever it is that you want to be i am happy i am peaceful i am two stones lighter i don't know <laughs> whatever you, whatever you need it to be um and you that's you know if you write it down that's an affirmation but actually if you draw power into it and speak it and you know speak it out loud and celebrate it it's even more powerful because you drill it in physically so you know i do a combination of these things sometimes i wake up and i uh, because i'm very blessed to be able to do that i'll watch a short film or something or i'll do a quick minute five minute gratitude list and uh, and thank just give thanks and and move on sometimes i'll spend two hours reading mindset books so whatever it is that works for you, you might love yoga in the morning, that's pure stretch. We, we always start this show with uh, the motivational speech. Yeah, I love it. I, I absolutely, absolutely, um, you know, believe in that. It's changed my life. And I'll tell you what, pure stretch, to, uh, pure stretch and a combination of exercises. And that's why I was so hot on bringing out more than Zumba. And of course, I, I, I have to bring out programs that I love that I have tried, that I believe in, and that I'm passionate about, right? Otherwise, Absolutely, if yeah. you're not passionate about what you teach, how are you going to inspire others? Yeah. Um, but, the, you know, even with pure stretch and a combination of stuff, the, the, what gave me the final release from pain was my mind. I refused to think about it in a negative way. And I've also gone through a phase where I've been a little bit lower in mood and stuff like that and I've seen the difference. So it's when you stop using these principles and tools that you notice the difference in yourself and that's why I can sit here and say I firmly believe in it because I've tried both because I'm crazy, I'm a scientist as well so I do experiments <laughs> on myself all the time. 91.8 Hayes FM we're talking a little bit about mindset and uh, Des was telling me a couple of times she's actually been burnt out and had to use mindset to find a balance in her life. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, ultimately you struck the, the word there for me, balance. Um, I'm the kind of person that used to be sort of all or nothing and I might be really high or I can be quite low and actually that's not a brilliant way to live to be honest it doesn't work for me anyway I don't know if it works for anyone else if it works for you fair enough but um, it didn't work for me because I could never sort of settle myself and, and focus be inspired rather than pushing myself but also be happy satisfied joyful light-hearted you know um, balance is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned at the end of the day if you exercise extremely something else is gonna lose out right if you're at work all day long and never see your kids your family your friends you're gonna burn out and you're gonna exhaust and you're gonna hate your life you know what i mean on and and, and the same token goes with with mindset you know you can't take it to also ridiculous extent like i went from seminar to seminar to seminar to seminar to seminar until i actually exhausted myself and then i thought oh my goodness i can't handle this anymore i need a break because they're and very draining aren't they as good as they are and positive yes. It takes a lot out of you. They can be very, very draining. So what I would advise people is find, a, you know, find a coaching seminar, a seminar, go to it, give yourself quite a few months to, to put things into practice from what you've learned, 
to be in contact with the people you've met at these seminars because the other thing so talking of seminars they're not just for health and fitness people are they no, of course anybody not. who wants advice with their business especially if you're doing a self-employed business you yeah, can yeah. certainly get help with a coach business coach oh absolutely so a business coach is for people that have business uh, you know businesses a life coach or you know they call themselves all different things these days um, can, can you know can um, help you get over uh, you know from the psychological point of view and so on and so forth uh, obviously you can have a fitness coach like a personal trainer or a or a group exercise coach you can have a nutritional coach you can often have people that do a bit of everything you know it's amazing amazing so the difference between a fitness coach nutritionist and a, a mindset coach uh, would you say the the lifestyle coach is a bit more mindset do you know what I see th I think the life yes the life code the life, yes, life coaches coach, yeah. are more mindset um, but and a lot of trainers are going that way now but they, yes but, but, but that's what I'm saying if you're a fitness coach mm. you're a nutritionist and you're in you're a you're a mindset coach as well I mean obviously you might not be an expert in nutrition but you should know enough about nutrition to inspire that in your clients and of course personal trainers know you know even more in depth and someone like me knows a bit more in depth because I've done nutrition courses and I've you know I've, I've, I've experienced from all around the world coaches and what they teach and so on and so forth and ultimately since we're on nutrition I will tell you my golden nugget of it all um, try different things out see for works what works for you but ultimately just remember we are human beings and um, there's some you know superhumans out there that can do 100% clean I'm not one of them you know I love a balance in my life I love eating clean as much as I can maybe 80% is clean 20% is naughty obviously naughty <laughs> whatever you want to call it you know um, obviously yeah, there's a lot a lot of sort of thoughts um, of thought out there and you've got to search it up for yourself and make your, your decisions try things out guys try things out at three months at a time you know um, and and see what works for you and what doesn't you know but the idea obviously just keep moving forwards always trying different things never stop definitely stopping is the worst if thing something's you not quite right you're not very happy change it change it and you know that's one of the big things that you know I've learned in my life stop moaning about it start doing something about it and I'm not saying you know the and you know what we have our close we all have our close friends or our partners who we can say you know we can go oh you know what I'm tired I'm stressed I'm this and that and the other um, but ultimately you need to understand that yes you can speak about it with someone but you have to make a decision to change it if you're there causing drama and of course you know I'm a, I'm a Mediterranean so drama is sort of our middle name or something like that so my whole life I was brought up to make such a big deal out of everything now you know what I am I'm like a solutions master if someone brings me a problem immediately I'm like okay I understand you I love you let's work with this but ultimately what's the solution guys because that's what life is about you know life will hit us with challenges every single day look at today we we shut ourselves out of the building by mistake yeah. <laughs> we, we could have, you know uh, two years ago i would have made a drama about that i would have my but blood pressure would have raised the sky high you would have been crying probably <laughs> and we would have been in in you know today we were calm we said okay it's fine the caretaker has a spare key they must have that's what they're there for we were calm we went we found the right people we didn't panic we didn't stress and lo and behold okay we were a little bit delayed but it happened it not just happened we are about to to do an uh, you know a weekender or maybe a one day event together yeah. mm. you know we, we are inspiring people here and actually this is this is so amazing to be here so there you go everything works for the better yes we're gonna have bad days guys and life is like that we're gonna have to go through the the low phases as well but ultimately it is a decision and I can tell you how long you stay in a miserable and low stage has nothing to do with anyone else but yourself these GP referral schemes they they refer people to a nutritional plan and you know admittedly yes some of these some of these uh, people do need like extremely slow progressive exercise um, so probably as a personal trainer how can I put this nicely you might even get bored you know that kind of thing um, but saying that personally I think
a massive illness or quite quite haven't and you are overweight even quite a bit overweight by uh, you know the the um uh, medical standards BMI. so yes and by the bmi you know you don't you know we don't really support bmi anymore but anyway let's not go there it's it because it doesn't s tell you the actual whole picture does it bmi because because otherwise arno arnie arnie your favorite character there mm -hmm. um he would be overweight right because he's got so much muscle mass and bmi doesn't necessarily you know take that in account but anyway that's for another time i believe nicola um if you are overweight and you're worried about getting to a session i'd say you know please 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 go and find a group fitness session a personal trainer someone that will help you and as when it comes to to gps i'd say gps out there please 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 look up what's around you and go and meet this professionals until you find the ones that inspire you and you believe are safe enough so that at any point you can refer your patients to any one person that you seem and deem more qualified or more able to touch that person's uh, life because at the end of the day Nicola it doesn't matter how qualified we are if I don't talk to your soul and your mind and your heart you're not going to stay you're not going to get a benefit are you so yeah gps out there please search the health um uh, the fitness professionals around you especially the freelancers you know but there's also lots of schemes as well so if you are for yes. example in hillingdon as Definitely. most people are listening to Hayes fm <laughs> yes and then the hillingdon council were doing so much that and they're about to launch a big park campaign as well which hopefully i'm going to be involved in so i'll be able to tell you a little bit more exactly. about that soon but certainly look up your local bar and see what's available there's so many things even free or very low price yes definitely i'd highly recommend that as well and you know you you'll gain your confidence if that's where you are in life where you you know you've had that that illness or you you know physically you need a a closer attention something like that um, you know start from somewhere and then move on and progress come and find us in sessions you know in the community wherever it is that you you live because this we talk about international here nationally you know it, it it goes without saying but yeah brilliant absolutely amazing you can see that you know definitely the medical profession is in itself understanding the, the, the principles of a holistic approach to health and wellness. So medication is one solution, but we all know that prevention is much better than cure. Absolutely. But, right? We all know that. Even doctors say that. Um, and actually, I'm sure your doctors would be so much happier to see you with a you know much much um, stronger immune system and much happier why because you're dealing with your fitness and you're dealing with your nutrition and you're dealing um, you know with with your mind and and, and let's yeah, be honest talking of minds you know people who get depression yes. will go to the doctors and they'll give medication but actually things like exercise really do help well and and a uh, note on that because um, I've been I've had depression in the past clinical depression I've been on antidepressants by the way guys if you're on antidepressants and you're till still depressed um, obviously the antidepressants aren't working so you need to explore that a little bit deeper and gps out there they have to start edu educating themselves in what else is out there what else is available because you know what the nhs might only teach you cbt cognitive behavioral therapies and you might be referred to a psychologist but we know and you've experienced this as well nicola that there's a lot more tools out there that can be used and you've got to experience all of them in order to see what works best for you an example Certainly. is EFT, emotional freedom technique, you know, tapping. I've used those, they're incredible. I, I don't believe, I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't believe they're supported by, um, you know, uh, Western medicine, conventional medicine. However, they're, they're incredible, you know. Um, there's so many that we can talk about. Look it up out there and go and experience different things. And to be honest with you, even the medical profession now um, no longer calls them alternative therapies they call them complementary therapies because they understand of the value um, that they can have even if there's not absolute hardcore scientific um, evidence but what more scientific evidence do you need than the fact that there's 
millions of scientific research telling you that your mindset is very important and that you have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Find so a coming way from to a deal doctor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so lastly then, we spoke about body image before and all of the mindset and a lot of people uh, talking negatively to themselves in the mirror, putting themselves down and constantly reinforcing the bad mindset, which actually helps to prolong the way that they are at the moment in terms of their body shape and size. What do you have to say on that issue? A million things again. We'll be here for another week. Um, us women in We've particular... Seven minutes. <laughs> Ooh, I can handle that. Us women in particular are, are good at doing that, um, putting ourselves down, um, you know, hating our bodies. Um, it's terrible, you know. Um, and yes, there is peer pressure, societal pressure, the media and all that jazz but actually I think a lot more of us are becoming aware that uh, you know skinny isn't necessarily healthy um, you know you, you do have to be balanced uh, in life uh, you know and at the end of the day we all have different body shapes different genetics um, you know different ho ho uh, the, the levels of hormones in our bodies work differently yes nutrition is very important because it will spike your hormones in different ways that might encourage you to put uh, fat on the tummy and things like that but anyway i'm diverging a little bit because like as i said that there's so many things to talk about i'd say your body image is, is really important boys and girls um men and women out there if ultimately you look at yourself and the only thing you can say is bad things well guess what you're gonna feel bad about it and i don't want to use any harsher words in on, on on air but you know exactly what i'm talking about our belief systems mean everything they dictate how we feel and what we do so please girls and boys love yourselves as you are you have love is the ultimate power we have to love ourselves if we don't love ourselves how can we love others how can you do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you've got to love yourselves. If you're unhappy with your body, then do something about it. Small steps at a time will get you to your ultimate goal. And that won't overwhelm you either. Because sometimes we go from there to ah, shooting for the stars. And a lot of us burn somewhere in the middle or even in the start. So please love yourselves. There's nothing worse you can do. And a lot of studies are showing that as well now. You know, how we can alter molecular structures by how we feel around them. Mm -hmm. And changing the way you speak about your body. Yes, about the body. And again, as I said, I've experimented a lot with it. A lot with myself. I've experimented with using harsh words about myself and seeing how I feel. And absolutely avoiding speaking harsh words. Even or at the very least catching myself if I do. So if I get a thought like, oh gosh, you look horrible in that, I'll immediately catch myself and go, oops, <laughs> I, I said it again. So inside me I'll go, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Do you um, cancel out the bad words with something nice? Yeah, exactly, I do. I'll go, oops, <laughs> I, I use the harsh word. I'm sorry, I apologize to myself. I know some of you might think these things are fluffy, but trust me, <laughs> they work and anyone that's hearing that's aspiring to be rich a wealthy a millionaire believe me the top millionaires and billionaires of this world the first thing they'll talk to you about is the fluffy stuff the <laughs> mindset and you know there, there's people seems that, to work doesn't it oh, so it if works. successful people are doing it then follow what they're doing absolutely and you'll be successful it doesn't mean you know you have to aim that, that high you know you be yourself and that's another thing that i've i've learned a lot in the past two years no matter what stay true to yourself and who you are you are amazing as you are you know you are unique you don't have to be anything more because there's people there that love you for who you are and you should love yourself for who you are and of course aspire to be as well you know to to reach your goals i mean and to achieve all the rest i'm not saying just you know sit there and be a couch potato and just love yourself in your couch potato state right just appreciate yourself 
gratitude is a massive thing that we know it's about. it's not just about, as you were saying, about the couch potato state. It's not just about the way you look. You're going to feel better oh, and have more energy and all of the extra benefits that come with exercising and, and getting off the couch. Yeah, uh, uh, oh, the first... Well, the happy just, hormones as oh, well. Absolutely. The first thing that... Um, People are going to tell you, and Tony Robbins is really ho hot at this, that the, the, the quickest way to change your state, meaning sort of how you feel, is by movement, is physical. You understand? So here, here I am, Nicola, being like, now, I'm speaking quietly, I'm looking down, I'm sad, my, my shoulders are hunching over. You know, how do you think it makes me feel? How do you feel? How do I look? You know what I mean? Timid. Exactly. I feel pretty miserable yeah. here. I look pretty miserable. But, you know... I sit up, my shoulders back and down, I get up, I, you know, I jump up, I listen to my favorite tune and shake about it, you know, and you can do that at work, you can just sit up, you can get up for a second, go to the toilet, put some cold water in your face, re-energize, you know, get, go, okay, this is great, you know, I'm going, doing fine, I'm going to be okay, you know, I am okay. Can, That's what I do when I'm in the traffic. <laughs> Because I, I see traffic, if my husband gets terribly angry yes. and he just, you know, swears and all things like that and he comes out all stressed of the car. And I say, well, at the end of the day, you're in traffic. You're either in traffic for 20 minutes angry or you're in 20 minutes happy. That's perfect. <laughs> and that, do you know what? It's funny you say that because that's one of the first things I had to change about myself because I was an impatient person, someone that got angry quite easily. I uh, know my, if my clients are listening out there, they'll be like, well, but it's true. You're a Mediterranean. I have a Mediterranean fire. We just get angry and upset and, and excited. So we've got you know. 60 seconds left. Ooh. What one quote are you going to leave us with? Oh, goodness. If you can, pull one out the bag. One quote. You must have so many. A quote of myself is, be true to yourself, be happy, be grateful, contribute to this world in any small or big way you want to and just shine your light you're needed there's someone out there that needs you there's many people out there that need you so be yourself and just keep inspiring that is so nice and i think everybody if anybody did listen today for the first time they were meant to listen to that today yeah. so thank you so much des for coming in it's been amazing very inspiring Thanks and hopefully motivating